The Secret in the Abandoned Tunnel Imagine discovering a hidden tunnel in your backyard that had been sealed off for decades. What would you do for one young man? This became a reality that would change his life forever. Jake had recently moved into a quiet town in rural Virginia. The house he bought was an old fixer-upper, surrounded by dense woods. One afternoon, while clearing some overgrown bushes in the backyard, his shovel struck something hard. Curious, he dug deeper, revealing a rusty metal door set into the ground. The door had no handle, just a series of strange symbols etched into its surface. Despite the creeping chill in the air, Jake was determined to open it. Using an old crowbar, he managed to pry the door open, revealing a narrow stone staircase leading down into darkness. He hesitated for a moment, but the thrill of discovery was too strong to ignore. Grabbing a flashlight, Jake descended into the unknown. The tunnel was damp, cold, and eerily quiet. As he ventured further, strange carvings appeared on the walls, symbols similar to those on the door, but larger and more intricate. His flashlight flickered, casting shadows that seemed to dance along the walls. After what felt like hours, Jake reached a chamber at the end of the tunnel. In the center was an ancient wooden chest covered in dust. He opened it, expecting to find treasure, but instead there were only old, tattered documents and a leather-bound journal. Disappointed but intrigued, Jake took the journal and headed back to the surface. That night, he started reading the journal. It belonged to a man named William, who lived in the house over a century ago. According to the entries, William had been obsessed with alchemy and was convinced that he could unlock the secret to eternal life. He had spent years experimenting in the very tunnel Jake had just discovered. The final entry was the most disturbing. It described how William had succeeded in creating an elixir, but it had terrible side effects. His wife and children had vanished, and strange occurrences had plagued the house ever since. The journal ended abruptly, with no mention of what became of William. Over the next few days, strange things began happening in Jake's house. Lights flickered. Doors creaked open on their own, and at night, he could hear faint whispers coming from the tunnel. One evening, unable to bear the tension any longer, Jake returned to the chamber, determined to find answers. As he stepped inside, the air grew thick, and a shadowy figure appeared in the corner of the room. It was William, or what was left of him. His hollow eyes glowed faintly as he spoke in a raspy voice. You've opened the door. Now, you must pay the price. Panicked, Jake tried to run, but the tunnel seemed to stretch endlessly. No matter how fast he moved, the figure was always right behind him. Finally, he reached the surface and slammed the door shut, sealing the tunnel once more. But the whispers never stopped. Conclusion Jake sold the house and moved far away, but the story of the tunnel never left him. He often wonders what would have happened if he hadn't opened that door. But maybe some doors are meant to stay closed. This story could be enhanced with visuals of dark tunnels, eerie whispers, and suspenseful music to draw in viewers. It taps into curiosity and fear, which are perfect for keeping your audience on edge.